So what is your thing? Okay, no, lots of jokes with that, especially for me. But um, one of the things I'm trying to figure out, or am I trying to figure out? So I'm having this struggle. The struggle is that I'm marketing. That's what I do for work. But I don't think of myself as marketing. Marketing isn't my thing. It's something I'm learning. Um, I'm traveling. But traveling isn't my thing. I'm writing a musical, but I've never done that before. Um, I'm a musician, but I'm not writing music right now. I'm not playing music right now. I'm an actor, but I'm not acting right now. Um, like, I eat healthy, I go to the gym, but I'm not this guy who promotes those. I mean, like, I think you should go do that, but I don't have this channel about how to work out and how to eat healthy and do that sort of thing. So if I want to create a personal brand or I want to uh, push one of my projects, which one do I do? I don't know. I've kind of just been telling the story the way it is, which is me in Colombia right now uh, working, <clears throat> trying to learn marketing to survive while I'm writing and figuring out how to write a musical. I don't feel like I can go out and tell everybody this is what you do to write a musical because I haven't learned. Uh, there's a few things that I think I can share, but I haven't written one yet. And like once it's done, who knows how good it'll be. So until I think you've had something that's really good, successful, whatever, that's kind of tough to do. So, yeah, like I want to start, I really want to start, I'm super excited about the musical, like super excited, and I want to start promoting it, but I don't feel like I'm there ready to promote. You know what's tough? Is also, so let's say, uh, Gary Vee's very big on like, tell the story of the journey. Well, my journey as a writer is sitting down and writing, like, just writing. And you know what writing looks like? It looks like this. You know, that's not this exciting, interesting thing. Um, at least that's how I've been seeing it up until now. Maybe I, you know, I don't feel like I can give writers tips. Not that many, anyway. Um... <clears throat> Maybe eventually I can. So basically what I've been doing is I've been feeling like I'm, I've been feeling lost. Or not lost, but like no one path is the, and of course, I don't believe there is one path, but just like where do I put my energy? Like if I want to start telling a story, because I love filming, I love it. But what do I film, you know? Like someone marketing during the day? That's me in my room, me going to a cafe. I don't think that's super interesting. Going on a, a tour to film behind the scenes as we shoot a music video. That's fun. That's interesting. Those videos turned out great. So <clears throat> I, I just sharing that. Uh, I, I'm, I spent the morning writing about it. One thing that I, th that I th am trying to do that I think a lot of people are trying to do. I'm a creator. How does a creator make money? That's a tough one. That's kind of what I set out to do, man, years ago when I was a musician and I was struggling to try and <clears throat> figure out how to make it as, as a musician. The interesting thing that I've learned so far is there's, of course, there isn't one way. You just got to figure it out. And in a way, that's kind of the beauty of it. I think that's very cool. Um, it's a very, I don't know if you want to call it, uh, entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur is really big right now. There is an entrepreneurial aspect to that. Uh, I'm not saying that I am an entrepreneur. Uh, I am saying that I'm trying to figure out what what my recipe is going to be. Which is the same as figuring out what you're... If you're going to start a band, what is the recipe for your band going to be? If you're going to be a, a visual artist, a painter, what is your style? If you're a filmmaker, what is your style? What is your genre? What is your, you know... What area do you like to dabble in? Uh, these are just kind of musings that I'm thinking about as I'm trying to decide because I want to continue making these videos. I love making these videos. But I want to try and get them a little bit more focused. Partly, uh, yeah, partly so I know who, 
like who is going to find this interesting who is who is this going to be valuable to uh, I did think that in, as opposed to narrowing down to uh, musicians that it that maybe just making it as a creator how do you make it as a creator this is just how I'm doing it um, and the principles I'm using and how it how it turns out and what the the result is I'm struggling with a couple things right now they're big struggles like being interested in marketing that's it's not it's not my thing and I'm banging my head so hard it's really really competitive and I'm banging my head get against the wall trying to make sure that we get these things up and part of me it's because it doesn't fill the soul it's my brain hits this this point where it just can't it can't keep keep going and then you're in a bad place if if you can't do your job that's not good it's because then you can't keep keep going um so i've thought you know if i treat this just as a regular job like this is my waiter job this is my starbucks job until i can get my other project off the ground can i do that um can i treat it like that I can, but what if like my interest in doing this, because it's really difficult and in some cases feels like it's just sucking the soul out of me. Uh, if that goes down, I have to find another way to make a living. But right now, I would much rather do that than get a job at Starbucks or, you know, do whatever. So part of me feels like I should just shut up and be really thankful that I, for what I have, because what I have is awesome. There's no question about it, but it's there's a piece to it that is difficult and that doesn't resonate with me and feels like it just, oh. yeah, there's a piece that makes me feel, that leaves me feeling empty inside. And I believe that, like, we can absolutely change that. I, there's a, there's part of it that I haven't been able to change yet. Oh. Anyway. I'm trying to figure it out. I think once I get the, once I get this version written, uh, it'll be, I'll have something to promote. Once I get the songs going, and once I get that going, then I'll have something to promote. But I'm working on year, I guess this March will be five years. Um, fr five years from the point that I put pen to paper and started brainstorming ideas. It's not uncommon that it takes a long time. Um, I knew it would take a long time. I knew I would wind up doing several versions. And who knows? This this obviously, the version we put up won't be the final version. I'll do another one. We'll, because we'll learn. We'll put it up. We'll, we'll find some stuff out. We'll learn this worked, this didn't. It's also taking a long time because I've never done it before. So there's lots of things that I have to learn. Um... But if I keep at it, you know, ideally, well, if I keep at it, I'll, I'll eventually figure it out, something out. Um, so I just keep doing it. And he, yeah, and I guess that's what I'm sharing right now is that I'm also, I also want to keep, keep filming and, and kind of filming the process, but the process right now feels, it feels unfocused. That doesn't mean it is. You know, it's better best to focus on, on one thing, narrow down, and get really good at it. For me, that's music. And I've chosen to, to do a musical for my next music, but doing that has all these other parts. Like, i got to survive. So there's that job that's not focusing on music. Writing the musical itself, that's writing a story. That's not focusing on music. You know, I'm, I'm eating, I'm trying to eat healthy and hit the gym. But those aren't music. Um, I'm traveling in uh, Latin America, which has a very might sound like it's a distracting thing, but it's not. It's because it's really cheap down here. I'm in Colombia right now because I like it and I'm able to do a good, have a good routine here. But uh, it's much cheaper than the states. So since I'm just since I'm writing and doing marketing, I can live. I can just it's practical. It's just practical i would stay here except for they only allow me to stay 180 days it's about six months so i need to go to the next place which in this case i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna go to peru um awesome i get to travel to peru totally true 
but it's not be, it's it's less it's more because it's practical less to see Peru does that mean I'm, I'm not gonna check out Peru? of course not I'm gonna check out Peru and and I'll enjoy it in the, you know on my walk to the cafe where I'm gonna go work or I'll enjoy it you know in the morning I'll, I'll enjoy like these little pieces taken out of my day but the majority of it is still to to do work and the main reason I'm there is because it's inexpensive um yeah that's where I'm at that's how I'm doing things is it right no is it working for me uh to some extent um it could be also that I just I just need to spend more time doing it that's definitely part of the equation especially with the writing I'm just not that good because I haven't done it as much as some of the writers out there. I'm learning a lot, though. I'm learning a lot. Maybe at some point, if this works out good, I will be able to say, hey, this is how, this is how you do Make sure you think about this. Make sure you think about that. But I got to find those. Probably read more books. No, I need to, 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 to do more and just, just find my own. Anyway. I don't know where what my videos are going to look like going forward. I'm, I want to. I'm probably making a mistake by trying to make them interesting. It's the artistic side of me that wants to create something. This one is this interesting? I have no idea. I actually don't. I don't think it's that interesting. It's me sitting in my my white room here, and just my keyboard because the keyboard my on uh, my computer here is just not doing well but yeah it's I don't know is that interesting maybe some people think so but I think it's more interesting to see yeah like my videos from going behind the camera shooting a video with Saibu that's interesting we're traveling in the jungle you know we're working our faces off we're getting rained out we're walking for hours carrying equipment someone's sitting in their room struggling with writing <laughs> just not that interesting <laughs> anyway i'm gonna end this here um yeah that's where i'm at i don't know how this is gonna go i think i am gonna finish it i think i am gonna finish it um i think i'm gonna finish it in 2019 i kind of don't know how because i think i i could use more time to to do this I mean I can map it out map out more time writing but uh, I'm also hitting a limit just with being able to do the certain things in marketing and that's kind of where the problem is if I could just keep doing it no problem but I'm burning out in marketing which is how I'm making my money so you see the problem uh, and that actually has me a little bit worried because then I might have to do this other skill to make money, which is pushing the the musical off even further, and I don't know what that is. Anyway, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do any of it. Because it, it, my strategy so far is just hang on. Just try and hang on till you get there. Uh, and I've been doing that for several years. Maybe I'm just complaining because it's hard. And it should be hard. <laughs> Sometimes, like, our idea of what hard is and what uh, our idea of what hard turns out to be. Like, we think, oh, yeah, it's going to be hard. And we have this idea in our mind of what that's like. No, no, no. It's likely to be much harder than that. And then it's at this other level where you think you actually get to a point. I get to a point where I start questioning, okay, I like things hard, but am I up for this? I may not be. I don't know.